girl Chantelle Lace coming at you with another video and today's video is all on this makeup look that I created today and it's a full face makeup video for the new year okay full face video for 2021 but if you want to see how I created today's look just stay tuned <laughs> Prime my face using my Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I'm going to be using my concealer from Maybelline, my Age Rewind. As you can see, it's empty. I love this, and it's in shade tan. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. I'm really liking this concealer, so yeah, it's been my go-to. Got to get some more. So now that I got that all over, I'm just going to take this sponge and blend it all out. My sponge is not wet or anything, so yeah, I'm just going to blend that out and get that all nice and smooth, you know, all over the face, nice and even, you know, and I'm going to you know, move my hair so it don't get in there, we get that all nice and done. All right, so before we get finished the face, we're gonna start with the eyes. And I'm going to prime my eyes using my Elizabeth Ma eyeshadow primer. And I'm just gonna put that all over my eyes. Just get that all over the eyes. All right, so now I'm gonna take the Queen Eloise, a Queen Lies and All of Us palette. And the shade I'm taking is Sheba, and I'm putting that in my transition shade. I'm sorry I did not show you guys, but I will show you the shade here in a minute. So this is the shade Sheba that I'm using in my transition. And just blending that all out. It's really nice and pretty. You could really use this shade all over your eye if you want to. And now I'm going to go into the shade Krusty, which is this nice hot pink shade. And I'm just going to put that all over my eye and get that done. And get that all blended out in my crease area. Definitely concentrating in the folds of my eye. And I'm just going back and forth in a windshield wiper motion for this and just put some more pack some more color on where you want it to be darker at and so forth so I'm just gonna go with what you would like to do and I wanted it to be really popping so I went in kind of deep but I'm loving the shade so now I'm going into the shade my lady and I'm going to be putting this all over my eyelid it's a really pretty pink shimmer shade really do like it and just put this all over my eyelid on the other eye as well this palette is gorgeous y'all I am just loving this palette and I've been feeling the pinks lately so yes so I'm just gonna clean that brush off and I'm gonna go into this pretty lavender shade which is called Crown and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye. I'm just gonna brighten that up and tie that all together. All right, and I'm just going back in with that crusty uh, shade and making it, make sure everything is blended, no harsh lines. But before we finish the eyes, we need to finish our face. So I'm going to go back in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. But this is in shade tan, which is, I mean, not shade tan, shade caramel, which is two shades lighter than me. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes, which will help clean up and brighten at the same time. And hence, if you don't want to use tape, this will help clean up and give you a nice line for your shadow. 
So I'm just gonna take the same sponge I used earlier and just blend that out. And as you see, it just brightens up under my eye and it cleans up my eye shadow as well, giving you a nice crisp line. But now that that's all done, I'm just gonna go back in and finish the eyes and go back into that crusty shade. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, it's C-U-R-T-S-Y. But, and connect that and put that on my bottom lash line. So we can just tie the whole look together. And then I'm gonna go into that crown shade as well and, you know, put that on my bottom inner corner so we can just tie the whole look together. So cute and fun. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation Powder. And it is just such cute packaging. I'm in shade 385. And I was so happy when she came out with this because I love foundation powders. So this is the packaging. It comes with a mirror. Here is the foundation and there is another mirror and a sponge. I will not use the sponge today. I'm going to be using a brush that I got from my Boxy Charm box. I believe it is from Larisse and it is the tapered face brush and I'm just gonna use this and go on and set all that concealer on my face and you know give myself like a nice medium coverage but I am loving this powder foundation I was loving the way it would put on I'm loving the coverage um, it's medium to full coverage so if you use more of a thicker packed brush you can get more of a full coverage look I'd use a more loose type of um, brush powder brush so therefore I got more of a medium coverage but as you can see it is definitely giving me coverage and I'm like loving it so yes uh, thank you Rihanna Let's get that all over all right so now I'm gonna line my eyes using my flirty girl lashes luxury eye line um, bonding liner and just gonna line my eyes with this so I can pop my lashes on without any lash glue because honey, this eyeliner bonder is just awesome. It's amazing. I know it's my product, but literally, if you are not really good at putting lashes on, this is like for you because it your lashes will just stick to it automatically. But I'm just gonna go on and do my wing and get that done. So I went on and did this off camera, finished my liner, and put all my lashes in flirty, in style flirty for my natural lash line. And I'm just putting on some bronzer just to kind of warm up my face a little bit, add some color to it. And I'm not really using the bronzer, I'm using what's left over on my brush. And same with my blush brush, I'm just adding some color to my cheeks, but I'm just using what's left over on my brush. I'm not actually dipping it in any pan. And then now I need to do my lips and I'm gonna use my NYX Butter Gloss and Ginger Snap. And then just get that all on. So I really love this Butter Gloss is from um, NYX, but this Ginger Snap was a little too dark for what I was going for. Um, I really do like it, but it's just a little too dark. So I was looking for um, my ColourPop lippy stick in, sh in shade Girl Gang to put on top of that because it would still give me more of a nude look, but just more of a lighter color to it. So as you see, I'm just putting that right on top of the gloss and it just brightened my lips up a little bit, not too much, which I think is perfect for this look using the pink eyeshadow. So yeah so, so this is the finished look you guys i am super pleased with it it came out super gorgeous oh my gosh i am loving the queen El eloise um a queen lies in all of us palette it is just so gorgeous it has some gorgeous colors in there i mean i cannot stop playing with this bad boy y'all know i love my pinks and purples and yes 
and I cannot wait to try out the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Oh my gosh, this brought me back to my good old days when I first started doing makeup. I would just use concealer and some powder and it works out great. So maybe I might return back to it and I love Fenty Beauty products. They work great for my skin. So I, I'm really, really pleased with it and look at the coverage. The coverage is really, really nice. Clean, flawless finish and like I said, all I used was concealer in this and I look look at this look great I'm glowing okay so very very pleased um it was $39 so it is pricey but come on now it's gonna last a while and it's Fenty Beauty it's a great product this product speaks for itself like literally I use this stuff and it lasts a long time I use the pro filter setting powder I use um her lip balms her I use pretty much a lot of her products besides anything that's glowy skin but um I use all of her products and I love her foundation. So yes, definitely check this out if you can. But yeah, that's today. That's all I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If it did, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, stay fly and shine. Bye, you guys.